Okay guys, uh, today um, I just got this uh, bug deflector and uh, I'm gonna do an open box and installation for you guys, okay? Uh, we're putting this on my wife's uh, Toyota Tacoma, so what we're planning to do is do in uh, black and white. So everything is like black and white, whatever we can replace it with, we'll do it, you know, with the chrome and all that stuff, muffler, uh, the fender flare, and then now we're trying to do it with the uh, bug deflector on the hood okay. so i will have all the the name and the name of the uh, bug deflector down below on the uh description so you guys go ahead and check it out later okay uh, here we go this is a tough guard the name of it is called a tough guard um bug deflector okay uh, it's made for Toyota uh, Tacoma, okay, and for 16 and up, and it's textured, okay. They got the, uh, all the screws and stuff on the top here, okay, the back, and then let's get to the collector, okay, it says that it's texture, so it looks like that, okay, and all the nuts and stuff like that's gonna go on here, okay. Okay, so after you do your measurements and uh, put these, I put these little dots on there to mark the uh, spot. And then once you uh, mark those, you're going to put uh, these little cones on there, rubber cones on there, okay? So uh, take out the adhesive and place them right on there, okay? Okay. And there should be uh, five of them, so. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, the instruction. Okay, guys. The instruction is um, not too clear. So once you uh, uh, measure this out where the hole is at, right? Um, take it out, and uh, this is where you put the 3M tape. Okay, up here, and then curve underneath and stick here. Okay, that's where you're gonna put this. Okay. This is where you're gonna put this here so that it won't uh, chip off your paint or anything like that, okay? So just like that, see? Just like that one there, okay? So I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll, we'll come back. Okay, so you guys need to use your pedestal alignment template, okay? Where you mark before through the, these little holes. Uh, you need to use this so you can make a, a marking on here, alignment on here, so that you know where to put the uh, the pedestal, okay? See, like that. Okay. So I got it all lined up right here, all the way through, okay? Before I uh, stick them on here. Okay, so this is the rain guard, okay? So to prevent water from going in, and this is where you have to uh, measure and cut, measure and, and cut, okay? So you, you, you take this long strip and cut two, three uh, sections, okay? So, um,
Okay. Last trip. These little clamp here, later on you're gonna have to uh, unscrew it and then put the uh, insert there and then you're gonna screw it back on, okay? But I, I did this ahead of time so that later on it'll be easier for me to uh, put it back together. Too long. I'll cut it off a little bit off. Okay, perfect. Okay. There you go. Okay, so after uh you made your markings and then you stick these on, okay? And uh, just press around the, the perimeters and make sure they're, uh, they're stick to it, okay? And then um, if you have a um, hair dryer, go ahead and um, yeah, make this thing hot so it'll stick better, okay? But I think we're pretty good. So it looks like that, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna put the uh, uh, the bug deflector or bug guard on right now. So now you're ready to connect this because this has a little hole right there where this screw here needs to go through here, right? So when you plug this in, this screw needs to go through here. So what you need to do now is back the screw out, okay? Back the screw out all the way uh till like a um you have like a quarter left on there okay until this thing can squeeze all the way through okay let me see this one okay so what we're gonna do now is Make sure this thing is aligned. Okay. Both of the front ones, make sure they're aligned, okay? And then go ahead and uh, plug this in there. Once, once it's snapped in there, you can go ahead and screw it back in, okay? Make sure it's really tight. There you go. All right. Okay, so once you tighten these two right here, you need to use your, you need to put your washer on there and then uh, screw it in, okay? I usually do it by hand and make sure everything fits before I uh, screw it in, okay? So, yeah, everything fits. Okay. So I'm gonna tighten them up, okay? After I finish tightening up, I'll show you. 
Okay, so uh, I finished tightening all those up to here. So what you need to do is, uh, what you want to do is make sure they're just tight, okay? Not too tight or don't overturn it because the adhesive that is holding underneath is not um, strong yet, okay? So just you go all the way till it's like snug tight. That's it, and don't force it, okay? Because if you force it, you're gonna force the uh, adhesive underneath to uh, come off. So this is good for now, okay? Yeah. Okay, so they're all good right now. And uh, all the parts have been used. Uh, what they uh, what they uh, failed to provide is this star uh, tool right here. Okay, they don't provide this, so you must have this. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, and uh, let me uh, let me back out so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the tough guard hood protector or bug deflector that I just put on. The name brand is Tough Guard, okay? And uh, I will have this down the uh, description down below. And uh, why I chose to put uh, this one on is, uh, look at this one, okay? And then look at the fender flare that I just put on last week, okay? So it matches, see that? Yeah, so that's why I decided to do that because uh, my wife said she uh, she wanted to do a black and white, you know. So it, on her Toyota Tacoma here, it's all black and white. So I'm going to do the interior uh, later on when I have time. So come back and uh, check it out. Okay, if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do. And uh, thank you for coming by and... Um, you guys have yourself a 